Hi everyone and welcome to this Van Art Friday video. In this video I'm working on a drawing of Sombra from Overwatch. I've been looking forward to this because Sombra has such an awesome character design and in terms of the design of this drawing I wanted it to be similar to my previous Overwatch drawings with a character portrait overlapping a comic panel in the background and I wanted to make sure that I used lots of bright colours for this one. For the outlines of this drawing, I was using my Copic Multiliner SP 0.03mm, and I tried to make the lines as smooth as I could possibly make them, adding finer outlines around her face, and adding bolder and much thicker outlines to her clothing and the underside of her hair. I always like to add a variation in the line thickness in drawings like this, and using a fine pen tip helps so much with that. I also find it to be extremely worth it to put lots of time into the outlines and the planning of these drawings, because it really helps me later on, during the colouring stage, uh, for details like the shading and where to place the highlights. With the outlines completed, it was then time for me to work on the colouring, and for the colouring of this drawing I used a mixture of Copic markers and Prismacolor pencils. Um, I actually always like to start off by working on the skin tones, because I find it to be one of the more difficult parts when you're trying to keep the colouring nice and smooth. So basically I just try to get that part out of the way first. For the base layer, I used pinkish white and pale heath, building up a couple of layers with these markers and just using them as a starting point to figure out where I wanted to place the next layers of shading. Uh, to add the shading, I started with pale grape, then added some smaller areas of light grape, and then lastly added some champagne marker adding a larger layer of champagne around the outside of her face. Uh, to smooth the gradients between all these markers, I actually used dark umber and blush pink Prismacolor pencils before also adding some highlights with a white pencil. Around the outside of her eyes, I blended amethyst, lavender and mallow markers, along with mulberry and violet pencils. And actually I used the same colours again for her irises. Uh, to add some shading to her eyes, uh, to add more depth to that area, I used Cool Grey 3 and 5 markers and contrasted that with some bright highlights from my Uniball Signo Broad white ink pen. I used the same markers again, the, the Amethyst, Lavender and Mallow, uh, to add the colouring to Sombra's lips and continued to add a bunch of highlights to that area as well. Moving on from that, for the augmentations on the side of her head, uh, for the grey areas I used cool grey markers, and then I also used an insanely bright colour called Cerise. With the details of Sombra's face completed, it was then time for me to work on her hair. Uh, for the top part of her hair, I started off by adding a base layer of colouring with the champagne marker. Then I built up a couple more layers with maroon and dark bark. Um, within the highlighted areas that I left, I also added some streaks of colouring uh, with lilac and blush pink Prismacolor pencils. For the next part of the hair, I blended between amethyst, lavender, light pink and pale heath markers, along with violet blue, mulberry, process red and white pencils. Um, I also wanted to, to add a bit more depth, so I added shading with the black marker and the cool greys, before also adding some texturing using the Uniball highlighter pen, just adding some streaks of white highlights through the hair. With the colouring of her face and hair completed, I began working on her clothing, for most of these areas I was using a mixture of amethyst and mallow markers, along with the cool greys, uh, continuing to define some of the shapes amongst the shading with highlights. Then for the colouring within her collar, I wanted to make this really bright so that it's contrasted and silhouetted her neck. Uh, for this I used ice blue, cool grey blue, pale heath and cerise. Um, I used a mulberry pencil as well for the pattern. Lastly, for the final part of this drawing, I used the ice blue marker for the background, and I used the highlighter pen to add some outlines and particle effects. And after that, this drawing was completed. Um, overall, it took about six hours to complete, and I had so much fun working on this. I loved adding all the bright colours, like the cerise and the ice blue, and adding all these contrasting areas. Uh, also, her hair was really fun to colour as well. Please let me know what you think, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you want to see more drawings or paintings like this, then make sure you're subscribed, and any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. If you want to follow my progress and see progress photos before I post these videos, then check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support, I really appreciate it. I hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you all soon.